Hello and welcome to the Social Connection, your program about social media, the trends you talked about, and what new changes social media companies offered its users. I'm Arun Neyal, and with me is Preeti Tiwari. Thank you, Arun. In the next half an hour, we'll take you through the top trends, latest news, and everything that kept the social media space busy. But first up, let's take a look at what we have in store for you this week. Pinterest celebrates five years of do-it-yourself accomplishment. The network lays 1.5 trillion recommendations annually. Facebook launches video app Riff for iOS, Android. Allows users to share collaborative videos like Snapchat, Vine Hybrid. Microblogging site Twitter launches its own video streaming service, Periscope. Pinterest, the visual bookmarking tool that helps users discover and save creative ideas, turns five this week. The network is winning in all crucial social mobile space. While its core audience has constantly been female, Pinterest says its recognition is expanding more rapidly than ever among men. Here is more about the network. The popular discovery engine Pinterest turns five this week. It is a platform where people share ideas and ingenuity and get creatively inspired. And it has fueled a new way of searching for items that's even stolen traffic from tech giant Google. The San Francisco-based venture is winning an all-important social mobile space. The vast majority of pinners connect from mobile devices and is enjoying a healthy expansion overseas. According to internet research firm Comscore, Pinterest had 79.3 million unique visitors in February 2015, up 47% from a year earlier. While its core audience has always been female, Pinterest says its popularity is growing faster than ever among men. Male visitors grew at a much faster clip, 62% for men versus 42% for women. While Facebook is about sharing what you did, read or saw recently with hundreds of closest friends, Pinterest users pin stuff for their own inspiration and benefit. While others can see it, Pinterest people are saving stuff that means a lot to them personally. Popular man trends, as Pinterest put it recently, range from do-it-yourself home projects such as making a wooden couch sleeve for your drinks to different ways to tie knots to the world's best hiking trails. After Pinterest introduced place pins in late 2013, the vast trove of Pinners' travel-inspired boards became easier for people to find. Users pinned photos, links and videos inspired by past trips or travel inspiration. Place pins are designed to work like an online travel magazine combined with an interactive map. There are now more than 50 billion pins on Pinterest. One billion boats have been created. Headquartered in San Francisco, Pinterest has six international offices in Britain, France, Germany, Japan and Brazil. More than 40% of Pinterest users are outside the US, up from 28% in 2013. About two-thirds of the content on its site was created by brands. Earlier this year, Pinterest raised $367 million that valued the company at $11 billion. It says it may raise as much as $211 million more and plans to use more than half a billion dollars for international expansion and other corporate purposes. This week's social networking biggie, Facebook, took the wraps off a new app called Riff. The app allows users to create collaborative videos with their friends. Riff lets you post a video that's up to 20 seconds in length along with a title that instructs your friends on what to do next. More details in this report. It's that point when someone became more than just another someone. When a friendship became official. Fun with Sounds friends has always been the center of Facebook experience and to enhance the fun, the social media giant has introduced a creative tool to make videos with friends. This is called Riff. So with Riff, you can shoot a video of up to 20 seconds and give it a title that instructs others what they should add to it. Next up, your friends will see the video on Riff and get a notification inviting them to contribute. The contributors' friends are then invited to add scenes too. Someone to follow. Sometimes we didn't know what we were getting. Sometimes that was for the best. But we knew we wanted to hold on to them. Let's take a look at how it works. Anyone can start by creating a video. All you have to do is give it a topic. For example, hashtag balancing act. Then your friends can view it and choose to add their own clips on that topic. Once a friend adds a clip to your video, your friends' friends can also see the video in Riff and are able to add to it. The potential pool of creative collaborators can grow from there, 
so a short video can become an inventive project between circles of friends that you can share to Facebook or anywhere on the internet at any time. However, there's no way to edit mistakes out of the footage, so there's bound to be a lot of missed opportunities. Also, you should be able to change the default camera to remove the selfie step from your tight shooting sequence. All this may sound similar to Vine or Periscope where you are the sole author. But with Riff, you can collaborate with friends or limit collaboration to certain subsets. Like you can choose between only close friends or family or limit it to the fellow employees. Videos can only be shot from within app and cannot be imported from the gallery on your phone. The video creator also has the rights to remove added clips from the chain. Riffs can also be shared with the URL on a large scale via emails and other social networks through the app. As of now, Facebook has no plan to directly monetize the app. Twitter has unveiled Periscope, its live streaming app to rival Meerkat and other emerging apps that have captured the attention of the social media industry. Here is a report. Twitter out with a block and tackle. Just days after blocking one month old live video streaming app Meerkat from tapping into the Twitter community, now tackling Twitter's launching its own live video streaming service, Periscope. Twitter's now cut that access off for them, which makes it a lot harder for them to use that. Whereas Periscope's obviously owned by Twitter, will be deeply integrated into the Twitter experience, despite some early hiccups this morning with the way that worked. Uh, and as such, you'll be able to tap into that, should make it much easier to, to promote what you're doing on Twitter and share things with people that have already shown an interest in you based on a Twitter connection. But game on. Twitter's announcement comes on the day that Meerkat unveiled a list of investors that included Silicon Valley venture capitalists, Greylock Partners and Ashton Kutcher's fund, Sound Ventures. Meerkat widely expected to have raised millions of dollars. Twitter already owns Wine, one of the most popular apps, and it just bought Periscope in January. Dawson says Periscope will give Twitter an extra cool dimension very hip it's potentially allows real personalities to emerge on twitter um, because you really see and hear the person rather than just seeing their words uh, and so yeah i could easily see new celebrities being born through this i could see people building big followers and i think that could really help twitter to, to gain a foothold in new audiences that it hasn't been able to successfully capture before and it has at least one feature Mirkat does not at least not yet periscope let users re-watch the content we are heading for a short commercial break. We have lots of interesting stories coming up. Stay tuned and keep watching DD News. Virasat mein mili sabhyata aur sanskriti, jiske kai roop hain, kai rang hain. Inhi rangon mein se kuch chuninda rang hum samet kar laate hain aapke liye aur rubaru karate hain. कला जगत से जुड़ी खास हस्तियों से देखिए रंग तरंग शनिवार दोपहर साढ़े बारह बजे सिर्फ डीडी न्यूज पर सुबह का सही आगाज ताजा खबरों के साथ सुर्खियों के आईने से देश विदेश की सही तस्वीर और दिन के हर पहलू पर नजर नया सवेरा सोमवार से शुक्रवार सुबह सात बजे सिर्फ डीडी न्यूज पर सुर्खियों की भीड़ में अहम खबरें असल मुद्दे जो डालते हैं आपकी जिंदगी पर असर दिन भर की हर बड़ी खबर का बेपाक विश्लेषण सच सटीक संपूर्ण न्यूज नाइट सोमवार से शुक्रवार रात आठ से दस बजे सिर्फ डीडी न्यूज पर द टॉप न्यूज इमर्जिंग फ्रॉम एशिया इवेंट्स एंड इश्यूज शेपिंग द कॉन्टिनेंट्स डेवलपमेंट एनालाइजिंग ग्लोबल टर्न अराउंड with asian perspectives and a glance at the stories beyond the headlines watch inside asia saturday 4 pm only on dd news
welcome back. You must be familiar with the trending topics of the week, but here's a quick wrap of the top trends on social media sites. Bollywood actress Deepika Padukone starring in a new short film advocating gender equality was one of the top trends this week. The video titled My Choice received both applause and criticism on all the social media sectors. Military branch of Indian Army is undertaking effort to remove trash from Mount Everest. Indian Army team heads to Everest to bring down 4000 kg of litter. With this Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Swachh Bharat mission seems to reach the top of the world. A 34 member Indian Army mountaineering team dealing with Everest notorious trash was applauded on different social media sites. Furious 7 hits silver screen this week. First premiered in India, the Hollywood movie is set to form a record. Starring deceased actor Paul Walker, Furious 7 world premiere was much talked about online. This was the last movie of Paul Walker who died in a car accident in November 2013. A Muslim girl, Maryam Asif Siddiqui, won first prize in inter-school Bhagwat Gita contest. After winning the prize, she said, "Humanity is the ultimate religion." The news trended top on Twitter for the day. The event was held in Mumbai and people raised and encouraged through their messages and tweets all over. Cricketer Suresh Raina got hitched this week and social media sites were abuzz with this news. As Indian cricketer Suresh Raina was married to his childhood friend Priyanka Choudhary, hashtag Raina ki shaadi trended top on social media sites. Many cricketers, along with other stars, arrived for the ceremony in Delhi. Friends and followers wished the newlyweds a happy married life. The Holi festival, Easter and Good Friday, a day of remembrance of the great sacrifice made by Jesus Christ, was observed this week. Hashtag Good Friday trended on various social media sites. to remember crucifixion of Jesus Christ at a hill near Jerusalem more than 2000 years ago Tech Biggy Microsoft has jumped into the head mounted device arena with HoloLens it is a wireless holographic headset that may compete with products like Google Glass HoloLens has its own CPU and would not need to be paired with a computer or phone Yes that's right Microsoft previewed the brand new piece of hardware earlier this year HoloLens is Microsoft foray in reality market For those confused about what's actually going on with the company's new head-mounted gadget, here's the report. Look around. Technology is all around us. We use it in every aspect of our lives. It enables us to do amazing things. But what if we could go further? What if we could go beyond the screen? Now we can. Yes, with HoloLens we definitely can. Microsoft's HoloLens is a sleek, flashy headset with transparent lenses. You can see the world around you but with a twist as the world is suddenly transformed with 3D objects floating in mid-air, virtual screens on the wall and your living room covered in virtual characters running across. Microsoft's new product will allow people to project virtual objects in the real world. The tech giant has developed a new user interface for 3D computing and hopes to create an important new class of computing devices. Microsoft 3D goggles could be used by architects to visualize new design, by NASA scientists to explore the surface of Mars, and by business executives for immersive video conferencing. On the most basic level, it works the same way as most other 3D displays. It creates an illusion of depth by displaying an image with a slightly different perspective to each of the user's two eyes. The device plays different sound in each ear to further heighten the 3D effect. What makes the HoloLens different from products of the same league is that Microsoft uses complex hardware and software to tightly integrate virtual objects with the real world. The HoloLens glass are transparent so people wearing them can see the real world around them. with a variety of virtual objects projected on top and because hololens has a sophisticated understanding of the world around it these objects can interact with the real world too for example a virtual tv can appear mounted to the real wall or virtual objects can seem to rest on a table or floor hololens isn't just able to project virtual objects into the real world it also allows users to interact with these objects HoloLens knows exactly where the user is standing 
which way she is moving and where her hands and fingers are. By tracking the movements of the user's head, the device knows exactly what she is looking at and HoloLens can respond to voice commands too. Well, this might sound like science fiction, but if these devices work the way tech luminaries hope they can, such dreams may be reality sooner than we think. We are heading for a short breather. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. सुर्खियों की भीड़ में अहम खबरें असल मुद्दे जो डालते हैं आपकी जिंदगी पर असर दिन भर की हर बड़ी खबर का बेबाक विश्लेषण सच सटीक संपूर्ण न्यूज नाइट सोमवार से शुक्रवार रात आठ से दस बजे सिर्फ DD News Bank. The top news emerging from Asia. Events and issues shaping the continent's development. Analyzing global turnarounds with Asian perspectives. And a glance at the stories beyond the headlines. Watch Inside Asia, Saturday 4 p.m. Only on DD News. Subah ka sahi agaz. Taza khabaron ke saath. Surkhiyon ke aayne se. Desh videsh ki sahi tasveer. Aur din ke har pehlu par nazar. Naya savera. Somvar se shukrubar. Subah saath baje. Sirf DD News par. Moving on, Facebook announces new features allowing developers to create apps for the Facebook Messenger application as well as a way to communicate directly with the businesses through Facebook. Here's a report. Facebook Inc. opened up its Messenger service for developers last week to create apps and for consumers to communicate directly with realtors in the social media network's latest effort to expand its reach. So today we're going to fix this. Um, we're introducing an elegant and consistent way to share. Today we're introducing Messenger Platform. It's a new platform uh, that developers... It's a... Messenger Platform is a new platform that developers can use to build apps that help people connect with the more than 600 million people who are using Messenger as they communicate every day. The push to transform Facebook's messaging services into one that operates independently of the company's social media network comes as it faces intensifying competition from Twittering and Googling, as well as from fast-growing messaging apps such as Snapchat and WeChat. Facebook unveiled the new features at the annual conference for the first time, allowing developers to create apps that function inside the Messenger app, which has more than 600 million users. Another feature will allow consumers to use Messenger to send a text message, to make a restaurant reservation or to receive a notification that a product purchased online has shipped. 40 different apps will be available on Messenger in the coming days, allowing users of this service to send each other spot clips and animation, Facebook has said. Next up, Google-owned video sharing site YouTube is taking steps to make sure creators keep using it. The latest example is YouTube for Artists a how-to guide for getting the most out of the site. Take a look. We have to go out and to perform. When I saw those first strings of comments coming through of people requesting everything from covers to more videos to more originals. And it was... YouTube has launched a service to provide artists with information on how to get the best out of it. The service known as YouTube for Artists will allow musicians to connect with fans. The tool will help musicians promote shows and earn cash in return via the new YouTube cards video annotations within a musician's YouTube videos. Though the tool is still not completely available, it will help musicians make up their minds whether the videos are being watched in addition to overall views. The tool will also help them to find a track performance videos that have been uploaded by fans. 
This initiative has two things to best connect with fans and promotional programs to help you get discovered and grow. The Google owned platform is giving users access to a data tool too, such as where viewers are located in city level so that they can release videos within the best time zone. There's also advice on how to make money through your music by advertising shows or merchandise within videos as well as fan funding. YouTube's new tools will help you get along and stay relevant as an artist. As a matter of fact, the tool puts you in control of the kind of artist you really want to be. Artists can simply ask their accounts to be funded by the act via fan funding or musicians can earn money the same way they have been used to, which is by selling merchandising including stickers, t-shirts and several others via the cards. One of the most exciting features of the YouTube for Artists is an analytical tool that will allow users to see the geographical makeup of their respective fan base. This service will allow musicians to figure out where to promote their next single to their fans, the best time zone to release their next videos or where to route their next tour. As rewarding as anything else. Hey Kelly, I'm sad that you're not here to see me today. Last month, Amazon.com has won US federal regulator's approval to test a delivery drone. The e-commerce giant pursues a vision of speeding packages to customers through the air, amid public concern over the safety and privacy implications. Take a look. Amazon to testify flying delivery drones. It seems that though the dream of having Amazon packages delivered to you by drone may be one day become reality. US federal regulators have approved the test flight of a delivery drone earlier this month as the e-commerce giant pursues its vision of speedy package delivery through the air. The Federal Aviation Administration says it has issued Amazon an airworthiness certificate to a prototype unit and drone. It will allow test flights on private, rural land and Washington state. The drones being developed can fly at speeds of 50 miles per hour and operate by themselves and sense and avoid objects. Though public concern remains over safety and privacy implications in drone delivery. It's time to see all the feedback that you sent in on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube. Well, this is the end of our show. Continue sending in your feedback, comments as you have been on ddnews.com, at the rate gmail.com, on our Twitter handle ddnewslive, our Facebook page or on our YouTube channel. Well, before we sign off, we would like to thank you again and promise you more interesting stuff from the world of social media. Right now, we leave you with a thought-provoking video. See you again next week. Thank you and goodbye.
Children will fail.